resolving polar models to counteract simplistic binary taxonomy in the domain of software testing, and perhaps thereby removing at least some of the conceptual bullshit flying around. Hi, I'm Ilori, your cyborg-friendly humanist, and I have opinions on things. Opinions, of course, are located on a quality scale from utter rubbish to exquisitely splendid. I hope mine can be placed rather closer to the latter, but decide for yourself. Today I'm going to talk about a popular category division, often also to be found in LinkedIn job advertisements between automation tester and manual tester. It also links smoothly to my observations where we often have uh, with our clients at House of Tests, where testers in organizations are frequently divided into those two boxes. I believe this is counterproductive hogwash. We humans have many weaknesses. Some of us specifically have a soft spot for dichotomous classification systems that make us believe we can construct neat drawers to sort our mess into. Now guess what? Those neat drawers do not exist, unfortunately. Models are simplified representations of reality. We usually cannot grasp reality in its entirety. That's why we build models. Some of them are useful, some of them not so much. When we talk about testing, one dimension we can focus on is the degree to which we make use of automation, which means what degree of activity happens without human agency, intervention and decision making. A good tester understands that there are no two discrete opposites of automation versus manual. The term manual in itself is highly problematic, but let's not crawl into that rabbit hole for now. I'd like to offer a couple of thought pointers here. Heuristics versus algorithms. Much of human activity is heuristics based. We usually make decisions rather quickly and based on rough rules of thumb. When we cross the road and we see a truck approaching, we do not measure its speed and calculate the time it takes to flatten us. But we kind of know when there is enough time to walk and when to better wait. Heuristics are fallible. That's why some people get run over trucks sometimes. Algorithms are well defined and produce the same result every time they run. They help us achieve precise and repeatable results. Automation is located within algorithms. Experimental design is located within heuristics. Complex versus complicated. Complicated is a degree to which something is difficult to understand and complex is a degree to which there is a causal link that can or cannot be anticipated beforehand. Many of the complicated dimensions of software can be automated. Many of the complex ones cannot. They need to be discovered through sound experimental design and human observation. If you want to know more, I recommend searching the web for Dave Snowden's Kinefin model. Discovery versus confirmation. There is a subset of software's behavior that can be described beforehand, where some behavior strikes us as surprising when we observe them. Those usually belong to the complex domain and need to be discovered. That does not mean that confirmatory checking is not important, but keep in mind that it does not satisfy the full spectrum of software testing. Human agency versus robotics. Robots do what robots are told to do. They don't decide anything, but they do as they are programmed. Human agency allows us humans to be humans. We have the ability to anticipate act, decide and change our course of action based on observations on our uh, own within some boundaries. Tacit versus explicit knowledge. Requirements and specifications codify the explicit knowledge and expectations towards software. Or, as Michael Bolton likes to say, desires rather than expectations. However, we have a much larger sphere of tacit expectations that only manifest themselves when they are violated. Harry Collins' book, Tacit and Explicit Knowledge, offers a fantastic read on the subject. Polymorphic versus Mimeomorphic Mimeomorphic behavior is a behavior that copies according to explicit instructions. Polymorphic behavior is the somewhat opaque rules that humans follow. Polymorphic behavior can model reactions to contradicting inputs and has a repair function that is able to gloss over minor irritations and flaws. Those two concepts originate with Harry Collins too. Human versus computer language. To a large degree, computer language is ultra explicit and unambiguous. Human language by default is fuzzy and ambiguous. We use human language 
and maybe also some graphics, flowcharts and drawings when we write specifications. The transposition of human language description into code and working software is not trivial. So, this is a uh, selection of terms that might be worth it to spend some time thinking about in order to draw your own conclusions while testing. Great software testers understand that the above categorizations are not mutually exclusive. They understand that a skilled tester needs to make use of both in accordance with the problem at hand. There is no such thing as automation or manual tester unless an organization deliberately wants to cripple themselves in terms of skills. Any classification system that draws a sharp boundary between so-called automated testing and manual testing is in the way of achieving proficiency. I therefore now want to replace the versus with and, and that should give you a framework on how to think about software testing when you do software testing. Keep in mind that we humans are located within the system boundaries of what software is. The world is, rather, uh, the world is rarely binary, but scalar in its nature. All right, that's that. Uh, please dispatch your inquiries and objections via electric means. Thanks, cheerio, and happy testing. Bye. Hmm. This then recording software should stop the recording automatically. How do I solve this? Hey. Ah, here we go.